Hello, everyone. And I'm very happy to be here today and present to you our master program. I'll be giving the presentation together with Setari Imami. She is one of our students. Um, unfortunately, her camera is not working. There, there's some problem with the camera, but she's here and she will be giving part of the presentation. Let me share my screen a moment. And then we get started. I'll be telling you about the Master of Science in Economics at Osnabrück University. And our slogan of the master is future oriented and sustainable. And uh, you will see why we, we say this in a moment. Okay, now the thing is not working. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Ms. Imami and, and I will tell you about uh, why the program, the people and the environment are three good reasons to come to Osnabrück for the Master of Economics. And I will start by telling you about the program. So in general at Osnabrück, we have uh, 1,200 to 1,400 students who are studying business administration, economics and information systems at the bachelor and the master level. You can see here all the various programs we have. In this presentation, I will just tell you about the master of science in economics. And this is really a program that we reformed very recently. So last winter semester, 2022-23, we implemented some reforms. And the main reform was that we have the Master of Economics now in English, so that really international students can join the master without having to um, know German in any way. And um, this is also uh, why you don't find so much information on our program yet in the internet, because it's uh, relatively new that we have it in English. And another reform that we implemented is that we have uh, a new, very timely specialization option in the area of sustainability, behavior, and environmental policy. And I'll tell you in a moment more about this. And we've also introduced even more flexibility in your course choices as part of these reforms. What are the general aims of the master program in economics in Osnabrück? So in the course of the program, you will deepen your knowledge in economics, obviously. But you will also learn a broad spectrum of application-oriented economic methods. So although we are a university and not a, a, a university of applied sciences, as Georgie was uh, mentioning, we do have also strong emphasis on application-oriented methods and preparing you for applying what you learn. You will be able to apply models and methods to economic policy issues and get prepared for working on important real world projects. There is quite some flexibility to shape the program in your own interest or according to your own interest. So um, I show you here an exemplary study plan. You have to take 100 ECTS over uh, in total, usually you do it over four semesters. And there is really only one compulsory model that is the model advanced methods of business and economics, that's 10 ECTS. And of course, you have to write your master's thesis, that's 20 ECTS. The remaining 90 ECTS are really an elective area. So that gives you flexibility in composing the program also along with side with what you are most interested in. Um, and uh, of course, there are some restrictions. 60 of these 90 ECTS have to be taken in economics and methods and 10 in business administration. And within this elective area, you have the possibility to form a major. Um, this is something you can do. You don't have to do it. But if you do it, you have the option to choose one of two majors. Uh, the first is empirical economics, the second is sustainability, behavior, and environmental policy. And I will show you in a moment more about those majors. Uh, taking a major means that you have to take at least 40 credits from a speci specified list of courses within that major. So let me first tell you about the major in empirical economics. This is an area that we've been having for for quite a while in the department. Uh, it's also because our faculty is particularly strong in this regard. We have an Institute of Empirical Economics. And of course, the motivation is that modern economics increasingly uses empirical methods in its research. So it's not all about theory. It's really also about empirical research, empirical methods. So the aim of the major is to provide you with the ability to conduct independent empirical analysis. 
The content would be that you get strong methodological foundations in statistics and econometrics as your core methods. You will get applied training in which various economic policy issues are addressed. So really applying these methods to specific economic policy issues. And as part of this major, you would also take part in a project seminar where you can do an empirical study on your own. Career perspectives with that major are, for example, at applied research institutes, in consulting firms, in departments of companies or of banks or of the big four auditing firms, all of which are conducting empirical analysis. Or, of course, you could also work in academia. The second major, as I said, is relatively new, and this is a major in sustainability, behavior, and environmental policy. And this is something that is quite unique also at our university. Uh, what is the motivation? Well, um, as you all know, a climate crisis and other environmental challenges like biodiversity loss, water pollution, and so on, are really a major challenges to society these days. And all of these really call for a sustainability transformation to, to really solve them. And the thing is that we largely know how the behavior of various actors needs to change. The behavior of companies, consumers, farmers, governments, we know a lot about what should be done. But why is such change not happening or not happening enough? Or as it is put in this uh, newspaper article here, why is humanity so reluctant to save itself from climate change, for example? And the, the motivation for this major is really that understanding economics is very important for understanding the major sources of the problem of why do people behave in this way. But understanding economics is also really important for developing solutions to the problems. So the aim of this major is really to qualify young professionals who understand the role of economics in sustainability transformation and who want to use this knowledge to actively shape a societal transformation towards a more sustainable economy. So if that's something you're interested in, then that's what this major, um, then this major would fit you well. What is the content of that major is uh, you would get an in-depth understanding of the barriers and solution approaches for a sustainability transformation from an economic perspective. You would also learn, uh, or what's really quite a unique about our program is that we have this combination of environmental economics with behavioral economics. And behavioral economics is uh, a branch of economics where really um, you go more at the intersection of psychology and beyond the homo economicus assumptions. So this combination is what makes our major special. You would also get additional methods uh, when you do this, so in addition to statistics and econometrics, which of course you can also take as part of this major, you would also learn about economic experiments as an important research tool and about policy evaluation. And you would have in this major also the opportunity to gain some fundamental knowledge in other sustainability related disciplines, so you can also take a glimpse at another discipline, for example, psychology, human geography or system science. What are some career perspectives with this major? Well, this is a very um, a growing area of, um, of, of job perspectives, of, of employment options. So you could work, for example, in public agencies shaping environmental policy at the local, national, or international level. You could also work in companies or organizations involved in policy consulting. But you could also work in sustainability departments of companies. Nowadays, a lot of companies have sustainability departments. You could also work in environmental departments of economic research institutes. For example, all the major economic research institutes in Germany have environmental departments and also in other countries that's common. And also you could work, of course, in academia or in environmental NGOs who are implementing projects to improve sustainability. So that's the information for the moment on the two majors. I want to tell you also a bit about our admission requirements. These are now in general for the master in economics. You would need a successfully completed bachelor's degree. 
And if you want to know if your bachelor's degree is sufficient to get accepted at the University of Osnabrück, you can check on Uni Assist. Georgie already showed that you can access this also via uh, the My German University site, or you can also access it directly. And there you can check for general acceptance of your degree. Usually a three-year bachelor program is sufficient, so 180 ECTS credits, but sometimes a four-year program may be required because high school degree in Germany is longer than in some other countries. So it's better to check on Uni Assist for your particular degree. You would also need English language skills at least at B2 level. And then there are, in addition, a few subject-specific requirements in economics. The first is that you would need at least 25 ECTS credits from the field of economics. So you don't necessarily need to have a full degree or bachelor degree in economics, but you need at least 25 ECTS credits in courses taken in the field of economics. And also at least 15 ECTS in mathematics, statistics, or econometrics, with at least eight of these in statistics or econometrics. If you don't fulfill these requirements, it's not completely um, hopeless to, to apply to the University of Osnabrück. If you are not missing more than 10 ECTS from this list, you can still get admitted in principle, but then it would be subject to the requirement to make up certain modules. So you can still apply and try. Here I put the application deadlines. Um, assuming that you all would come with an international bachelor's degree certificate, even if you come from other uh, EU countries, you would always have to apply via Uni Assist. And the application deadline for the winter semester is July 15. For the summer semester is January 15. And with this, I will hand over to Setari Imami, who is one of our master students uh, who joined, I think, last semester. And she will tell you about the people and the environment. Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. Sorry about my camera. <laughs> okay. Uh... I am Saitara Imami. I'm an international student, and uh, uh, it's my uh, second semester uh, at the study Master of Economics. Now I'm going to talk about my experiences to study at Osnabrück University and also live in Osnabrück City. Uh, well, uh, compared to my bachelor university, uh, I believe that it's more enjoyable to study at Osnabrück University since there are lots of uh, knowledgeable and supportive professors alongside a great and friendly atmosphere. And uh, when you come to uh, Osnabrück University, you can find many professors working on uh, various empirical methods. For example, uh, Professor Engel talks about uh, sustainability and environmental economics. Uh, and also, uh, there are lots of students uh, who are really uh, engaged and willing to research and study in different topics. And in my opinion, the most important point is that the students are able to have contact with professors uh, directly and ask their questions uh, conveniently, contrary to many large uh, universities. Uh, in fact, uh, there is uh, a, uni a, a university council which allows uh, students to have contact with professors and even uh, the university management. Um, and. Uh, <clears throat> there are also uh, several social media accounts running by students, uh, and uh, all these accounts are always up to date based on the latest news and knowledge by professors. Uh, you can also find uh, um, several uh, interdisciplinary networks, uh, such as uh, digitalization, in order to give some tips uh, to a study better, and it's really helpful, especially for researching. Now I'm going to talk about the environment and uh, the city. Uh, as you know, uh, Osnabrück is called uh, a city of peace because in uh, 1648, uh, the most important peace treaties were assigned and also you can find many historical and uh, architectural buildings from the past in Osnabrück uh, as the most important tourist attractions. And uh, Osnabrück is also called uh, a small big city 
um, because we can find all advantages of uh, both small and big cities. Uh, Osnabrück has uh, around 168,000 uh, population, uh, including 28,000 students uh, who make Osnabrück a student city. Uh, on the other side, you can be engaged in uh, the modern life uh, and uh, whatever you need and all your requirements are uh, around you in the city and it brings you a convenient life. Um, <clears throat> About the environment, uh, city and surroundings uh, are full of green fields. And uh, mm, I found Osnabrück really uh, beautiful and full of uh, breathtaking, breathtaking landscapes. And it's really relaxing and peaceful. Uh, you can do the, a wide range of sports uh, and uh, cultural activities. There is a, a, a huge music hall. Uh, in Osnabrück, and it's uh, um, always uh, active, uh, especially in the summer. Uh, you can also enjoy uh, the nightlife in the city center, the place where uh, it's full of uh, bars, cafeterias, and restaurants. And uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, the living costs uh, are really affordable uh, in Osnabrück, and no need to, mu to pay much money for a high quality of life. And uh, the most important point is that uh, Osnabrück is uh, very well connected to the biggest cities in Germany uh, and also other European countries. Uh, there is uh, a main train station in the city center and you can travel to uh, lots of uh, important cities uh, such as Hamburg, Hannover, and Dusseldorf very fast, so less than two hours. Um, it was my experiences and uh, I hope it will be helpful and enjoy the city and university. Thanks a lot, Miss Imami. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Um, um, I'll, I'll just finish our presentation with just a few more links that I put here for you. I know an important issue is also always finding accommodation. So um, you will be able to access these slides also um, through my German university later. And here you have some links uh, on uh, residence halls, on housing market, and also on shared living. In Germany, really a very common model that many people use is uh, that you share a flat with other students. And there are some sites where you can look for rooms in these shared flats here. I put here also some other links that could be useful, for example, uh, more on finding in, uh, accommodation, on finding furniture, on other practical issues of life in the city, including also the cost of living, uh, more on the master program in economics, and also more on general study organization in Germany and the courses offered. So you can look at these links if you are interested. And with that, uh, we actually end our presentation. If you have further questions, feel free to contact also our degree program supervisor, Elena Romanenchuk, uh, who's not here today, but we actually have Martina Schmitz-Barton also from the um, study um, uh, degree uh, program su support here. And um, you have here also the uh, web addresses or the internet addresses that you can write to them if you have any questions. <laughs>